Good morning, folks. This is the USGS 7-Day Quake List. You will see no red. We've had no major quakes, a couple that pushed the 6 magnitude line, but nothing like the multiple big quakes during the last watch period. If you missed our special video last night explaining my subjective take on quake watches, our next one starts tomorrow, or today. I do have a habit of missing the first quake in these upticks. Tropical Cyclone Baldwin here in the South Indian Ocean. They've given him a name, but he will benignly lose power before hitting Madagascar. The close-up infrared is very pretty, however. Look at the lines perpendicular to the shear at contact point. Beautiful. Except this isn't Baldwin. It's a sunspot. Dr. Thornhill calling. Are you there? Europe, you should be charging this low-pressure system rent. Still moving the clouds in the same way, still set to freeze your buns off in the coming days. I'd love to get some comments from you about the wind and rain totals last 24 hours. We're setting the Australian pressure map in motion. As the major low crosses the continent, more tropical air will heat the nation as New Zealand over to the east gets a slight cooldown midweek. Zoomed in on Wichita, Kansas. By the time you see this, the convergence may have moved east and slightly north. Could have some snow and rain today and tonight. Zooming out, this is the weakest the North Pacific low has seen in over a week. It has less moisture and we may actually get a break in that rain and snow in the northwest into Canada. Had another gamma burst a few hours ago, came from way north in the constellation of Drake. All solar wind indices showing less intensity than yesterday. The magnetic shield is stable. It kept out nearly all the plasma from CME impact, despite the baseline inductions which have also subsided. No big flares the last three days. You will remember the endless spiral showed that double eruption. Still waiting for the second one, by the way. You might also remember we had a huge filament rip off the southern hemisphere in an earth-facing position. Well, NOAA has added that third eruption to the spiral, set to hit tomorrow night. Active regions are not much of a concern. The big guy is leaving the party up north. May have some development down south, and we got a lone gunman up here on the northeastern limb. Got a few more thin plasma filaments that pose eruption threat today. Earthquake watch begins. Flare watch starts the day after, and we have a dark transequatorial coronal hole set to face Earth during the watch. Just below that hole is one of the active regions we're watching for development. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.